Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and I am reading a, a, an amazing testimony from 3E Shine from YouTube. Lady, I just now discovered your videos. I have to dig through them, but I know for sure you are very, very close with this portrayal of a scornful demon. Now, let me interrupt that. This is Pat's Two Cents here. What he's referring to is a video I did called Demon of Scorn. And I'll leave the link of it for later on if you if you decide you want to watch it. This is what he says. He goes on to say, I know because I met mine. I had a horrific encounter with my shadow ego. The first part was bliss. Then an extreme resentment and psychosis. I was so afraid. Ooh. I began the strongest prayers of my entire life. Hours of crying out to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to take that filthy thing out of me. Its presence was so very strong. When I began to pray, that resentment, psychosis, which was aimed outwards towards the world, it turned to unspeakable, seething hatred aimed directly at me. I begged God to save my soul from that man of filth, the filthiest of the filthy. This was the title of that thing. I know its name too, but I won't repeat it. Well, I prayed in trembling tears. I prayed and prayed. I was so afraid of it. I couldn't look at it in my mind's eye as it made me flinch and gag. I actually would gag at its presence within me. Well, that thing filled with seething hatred seems to have been bound and cast out of me the night three months ago. Ever since, everything is different. A friend thinks I've been born again. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't feel worthy to say to so myself. Let God determine that, I say. But all things are very different now. I render all my work as into, uh, unto the Lord. I have found it pretty easy to repent of willful sins because I don't want to ever be separated from communion with my Lord Jesus Christ. I understand John clinging to Jesus as he did. I get it now. That night, God saved my soul from something so bad I can't describe it. It's gone, I can tell you. Anger is gone. Self-loathing is gone. I can't is gone. Now, I pray a lot every day. I study scriptures. I drag my wife to any church I can find <laughs> having a worship service any day or night of the week. I go seven days a week if I could. Here's the issue with that, though. I know now. I know Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. I know hell awaits the unsaved. I saw it and it is unholy horrors. I know. So I hear the preachers and I can tell they don't know. <clears throat> they think the Holy Ghost can be commanded and controlled. They think holiness is an option. They think so many things that conflict with the amazing new life I'm living. It makes me sad for them. Listen, readers. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and the Lord of our very souls. Our lives are but a moment. Hell awaits the unsaved. Prayer is the most powerful use of our minds and voices. Nothing else from humanity has as much power as prayer. Please come to terms with Christ. Serve the God that saves your soul from hell itself. Receive his everlasting Holy Spirit and stop asking him to repeat himself at the altar each week. If he saves you, you will realize you do not need to ask him again. Walk with your master, for he is Lord. Pray, pray, pray. <laughs> Wow, that was such a powerful, such a powerful. Thank you so much, 3 e Shine, for sharing that for us. That's his code name on YouTube. Listen, he also adds this. Um, let me see. We serve God. God does not serve us. I say, 
And one more thing, another phrase from that night of prayer, heavenly praise is the only prayer powerful enough from the soul to the heavenly realm, from pure desperate terror. You cannot save yourself. Heavenly praise, Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and that everlasting to everlasting Holy Ghost. That prayer came out of me very strong, and I won't stop now. Heavenly praise for my Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you so much. See, many of us have experiences with demonic strongholds, but the sad part is many of you won't share it. I'll tell my dirt. Because I know the word says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Never be ashamed to give God glory at your expense. Don't worry about what people think about you because you have no idea how many other people share your same weakness. How many other people are tormented by the same types of demons or the same demons that you're tormented by. And you can get a lot of people freed up by telling your truth. God bless you. And thank you very much for sharing this with us. I'm sure this will help many others get delivered and saved. God bless you all. Amen.